I feel hurt, disrespected, threatened, unsafe. Those words coming from Manitoba Minister Abi Khan Thursday afternoon after accusing opposition NDP leader Wab Kanu of swearing at him and shoving him at a public event inside the legislature after a tense exchange. The allegations come from a handshake between Khan and Kanu at an NDP-sponsored event marking the first official Turban Day in the province. Both elected officials offered different takes of what happened. The leader of opposition pulled me in and said, you piece of how dare you politicize this event. Yep. What you did is wrong. We are never inviting you again to event. And I leaned over, we were close to close, said, now is not the time for this, we can talk about this later. Uh, and he would not let me leave. Held my hand in. Again, repeated. You piece how dare you do this? Members of the PC caucus were visibly upset as Khan expressed these allegations. Khan said Kanu used multiple curses, insults, and concluded the exchange with a physical shove to his stomach. Kanu acknowledged there was a tense exchange but denies these allegations. I do dispute the facts. Significant details uh, were incorrect about what the member for Fort White said. Some accusations of aggressive behavior have been made in the legislature in years past. Canoe apologized in 2018 after confronting Stephen Fletcher and telling him to keep his mouth shut. Manitoba Health Minister Audrey Gordon accused Canoe of shoving her back in 2016. I would say it's a, a sign of, of high stress. Um, also, the fact that we're in an election year. Christopher Adams, political science professor at the University of Manitoba, says these accusations against Canoe feeds into the strategy of the PCs going into the October provincial election. This is something part of the political party strategy of the PCs in this election will be to position Wab Canoe as somebody who is, is dangerous or can't control his anger. Adams characterizes incidents like these as childish. It makes it very difficult for people to decide, well, I would like to run for politics because it's not a game, um, it's not a uh, career in politics, it's not a safe game for, for many people. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpet City News.